Hey everybody, Alicia here with Terra Drift, and not sure if you remember, but a while back we reviewed The Haven, a lay flat hammock tent designed to get you comfortably off the ground while camping, while still offering an uber comfy sleep experience reminiscent of your bed at home, i.e. flat. We thought it was pretty rad, so when Haven reached out to let us know that they were launching an upgraded glamping model on Kickstarter, we were like, yeah, we'll take a look. Enter The Haven Safari, a larger, more durable, versatile, lay flat hammock for car camping and backyard lounging. If you want to know more about the Haven original or setup, we'll put a link to that video review in the description below. Because this time we're going to focus on the brand's new Safari. Safari. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the Safari is bigger for starters. In fact, it's 80 inches long and 30 inches wide. The original is 24 by 78. The insulated sleeping pad, which has an R value of 4, is also a luxe 4 inches thick and made of a sort of vegan suede material. The whole kit weighs 11 pounds 13 ounces and has a weight capacity of 350 pounds. The material, like I said, is a durable heavyweight canvas light polyester and is waterproof as all tents should be. It comes in four colors. This is the canopy color. It features a lounge strap that you can tighten to effectively prop yourself up for evening reading or some such, then release to lay back down from inside the hammock, and has two double zippers so you can get in and out on either side of the hammock, which is rad. The way those zippers are designed also allows you to fully unzip the bug net and either push it toward your feet or take it off completely. There's a waterproof fly to keep the rain off, obviously, which you can fasten to the tent body in extremely windy and or wet weather to stay nice and warm and dry. And you can even transition the whole thing to the ground and use it as a bivy if there are no trees available where you're camping. So do take note that if you plan on using the rain fly with the bivy setup, pitching it requires at least two trekking poles, um, ideally four if you want to prop up one side of the fly. The Safari also comes with a few additional bells and whistles for Kickstarter backers, including a bundle that includes a fun little bunting banner and a stakeable sheet of fly material that basically serves as a welcome mat. Both are made out of leftover fabric scrap. So yay upcycling! You can also get a dimmable LED light strip to really illuminate things inside the Safari and a little battery powered air pump if you don't want to use the included pump sack to inflate the mattress, which does take a minute it's thick. I mean, that's a big ol' air mattress, but that's glamping for you, kids. As for what we thought of it, well, it was just as comfy and fun as the original, but with more space and more durable materials. Not that the original was too shabby in that department, but the Safari definitely feels more like a glamping tent. Just kind of has that vibe about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, like the luxury, I got my giant wide brim felt hat on and my designer flannel, that kind of vibe. I will say, though, that I didn't love the sleeping pad. It's very noisy, and Josh thought the material felt kind of weird on his skin, but I did remind him that he would probably be in a sleeping bag most of the time he's in the safari, so it wouldn't really matter. Besides, no sleeping pad feels great on sweaty bare skin, so that's kind of a non-starter in my opinion. It does take a minute to set up though, and like I said, this isn't our first time hanging a Haven tent, and it still took me a solid 20 minutes. Now, I probably could have that time after a few hangs, but it still won't be as quick a setup as a traditional hammock or a simple tent. That said, I do love all the space and the pockets. If there's one thing I don't absolutely love about conventional hammock camping, it's the lack of places to store things like my phone, reading material, a pocket knife, headlamp, etc. So we dig that there are six, uh, yeah, six spacious pockets in this thing. There's also plenty of elbow room, even for folks way larger than me. And I dig that I was able to sit up in it without feeling all smashed by fabric. It feels more like a hangable camp sofa than a traditional hammock. It is a bit unstable though, which is the same issue I had with the original Haven. If I moved around too much or got a bit too off balance, say while trying to change my shorts or something inside the hammock, the only thing keeping me in the hammock was the bug net. So there's certainly the potential for a, a 
toppling out situation, I guess, if you're not careful. No more than in those backyard hammocks with the bars across the top and the bottom. Those are just a disaster waiting to happen, but more than in a conventional hammock. But there are pros and cons for every piece of gear and which ones matter depend on you and your camping style. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, we sometimes test products that we don't really see ourselves using, but that we're absolutely certain many outdoorists will be thrilled with. The Haven is one of those products. Cause honestly, I am perfectly happy camping in a regular hammock, but I'm the kind of camper and backpacker who likes to keep it simple. That may not be you. And if it isn't, then yeah, yeah, you might really dig the Haven. I mean, I can certainly see why you would. It's super comfy. You can lay almost entirely flat. There are tons of pockets for storing essentials inside, which you don't get with a traditional hammock. And there's lots more room to move around, which is what a lot of people cite as the main reason they don't like hammocks. They feel like they're all wrapped up in a cocoon and claustrophobic and stuff. As for Haven's sustainability, well, we are less than impressed with Haven's efforts in that department. The material of the safari is durable, sure, but we'd like to see it made out of recycled materials, uh, maybe Haven offset their carbon footprint, commit to PFC-free DWR, anything, really. They are still a small brand, so hopefully they will grow into that, but as of right now, they've got some work to do in the sustainability department, in our opinion. Anyway, there are a few days left on the Kickstarter campaign where you can get a super duper discount on the new Safari. So we will put a link to the Kickstarter page below. Then when it's ready to order straight up, we will update the description with that link. Sound good? Eh, eh. In any case, before you head over to watch video clips of the Haven team stress testing the weight limit of the Safari with giant bags of dirt, we'd be so totally thrilled if you rang the bell and hit subscribe. Your support of our little channel literally means the world to us. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up while you're at it. Then follow us on all the socials. We are at TerraDrift on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. So I get those in the right order? Doesn't matter. We're also on TikTok now, guys. Then check out TerraDrift.com for <gasps> written content, like lists of our favorite gear and destination guides, stuff that you won't find here on the YouTubes. But whatever you do, sleep happy and on a flat surface suspended in the air if you like and wander on. Seriously, I don't understand why people have so much trouble sleeping in a hammock. I mean, we did a whole video about how to do it correctly. I, I honestly just think it's because people don't get it. I don't know, maybe people just don't realize they're supposed to sleep diagonally. Are you gonna be flat? No, and I guess that's still an issue with some folks. So here you go, lay flat hammock camping. Well, anyway, I'm going to hang. Chat with you guys later.